Reading is an integral part of the university experience. Whether you are just starting out with these heavy texts, or you are already a seasoned professional, we, assistants of the Chapman Learning Commons, have a few tips that we'd like to share in regard to reading efficiently and strategically. Before you begin reading, take a look at the number of pages that have been assigned to you. Try to understand that this is where the learning experience differs from high school. Whereas it may have only taken you a short time to do your readings before, reading textbooks in university takes more time due to the complexity of the concepts. It is recommended to set aside some time each day to do your readings and to separate the readings into small chunks. As soon as you crack open your book, we recommend that you take a preview of the contents. Now I've heard of previewing before, but for those of us that are unsure, what does that mean exactly? I'm so glad you asked. Previewing your book specifically means taking a brief glance at the upcoming contents of the chapter. It is to help you gain a better understanding of the main idea. Pay close attention to the following features of your text and look out for headings, subheadings, illustrations, captions, vocabulary lists, introductions, summaries, bolded words, and notes in the margins. Here are a few more tips for the new reader. Although this may seem counterintuitive, it is better to start at the end. Read the summary and go over the vocabulary words to better understand the main concepts. Following that, activate your prior knowledge before you dive in. Jot down a few thoughts on what you already know about the subject and what you want to know more about. These thoughts will help you set your purpose for why you are reading the section. Lastly, try to make predictions. Right after previewing the material, set some time aside to try and make a prediction of what you think the chapter is going to be about. This can also help you make connections about the text to other coursework. Now that online schooling is becoming a more prevalent reality, we should also consider the use of digital or e-textbooks. Consider the following. Does the digital format encourage a specific reading path, or is there room to jump around? Can you bookmark pages, or are there other ways to save your progress? If you follow a hyperlink, how do you get back to where you were before? Getting to know the structure of your e-textbook and seeing how page or section navigation works will save you time in the long run. Now, let us actually dive into the text. To figure out the main idea of what you're reading, focus on the first sentences of the first paragraphs within each new section or chapter. Look at the major headings and topics that you've identified previously during your preview of the chapter. Try to convert these into questions. While you read, try to find the answers to your questions. In relation, if you have any questions that come up during your readings, make a note of them. Before you whip out that highlighter or begin taking notes, finish the entire section or page first. Keep your notes brief, to the point, and write it in your own words. This will help you later on when you're reviewing for your exams. Instead of rereading 50 pages, your notes will help you jog your memory. Lastly, keep it short. Give your brain a fair shot to catch up to all the material that you just learned. Read no more than 5 to 10 pages at a time and try to space it out throughout the day. Now that you are finally done your readings, don't just stow your textbook away. We recommend revisiting your chapters closer to your exam. Remember those notes that you wrote? Instead of rereading the whole chapter, now is a great time to revisit them. Next comes the fun part. Try to organize your thoughts using an outline or a concept map to help you visualize and make connections about your material. You can start from memory and then use your textbook and notes to fill in the missing points. Lastly, make some flashcards. Flashcards can help you review the main points, key terms, and important concepts. You can try them out by yourself or with your friends to prepare for your exams. To quickly summarize the video, remember the P2R system. Preview, read actively, review, and recall. Following this system will help you become a better reader overall. We hope that you found this video helpful for your learning journey. Thank you. This video is one of many student toolkits created by the Chapman Learning Commons at the University of British Columbia. To learn more about the ways to excel at university, take a look at the Learning Commons website at learningcommons.ubc.ca or come visit the CLC Help Desk at the third floor of the Irving K. Barber Learning Center when we're open.